Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So you've got a function here. You've got a function. Find a partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y. And uh, this is the same as this. And this is the same as this. So um, find the partial derivatives. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, visualize this as one block multiplying another block. So hang on. So visualize it as one block multiplying another block. Um, you're, you're differentiating with respect to x. So this, is, this block here is a variable. This block here contains x, so it's also a variable. So you've got to use the product rule. So the product rule is differentiate the first, leave the second alone. So differentiate the first, which will be 1, and leave the second alone. Leave the second alone. Leave the second alone. And then plus, plus, and then differentiate the second. So looking at this, differentiate the second and leave the first alone. So differentiating the second, imagine in, this is imagine this is a bubble here. When you differentiate e to the power of the bubble, it's just going to be e to the power of the bubble. But then you've got to use the chain rule and times the derivative of the bubble itself. Well, x is a variable, y is a constant. So this thing here is just a constant. So when you differentiate the bubble itself, it's just simply 2. It's just simply 2. And then you've got to leave the first alone. So leave the first alone. That will then be this. So now to uh, tidy this up, this block becomes this, and this stays the same. Okay, so your your partial derivative with respect to x is given by this. So now let's do it with respect to y. So remember, our function is really one block multiplying another block. You're doing it with respect to y this time. Well, this block here is um, is a constant. Um, it, y is the variable, x is a constant. So you notice that this block here contains the variable. So the whole block here is, in a way, a variable. So uh, so when you come to differentiate this, it turns out that this is a constant, and this block is a variable. So differentiating it with respect to um, to y, it will be, well, this is just a constant. And then uh, when you come to differentiate this, imagine the bubble. So it would be, when you um, differentiate e to the power of the bubble, it would be e to the power of the bubble. But then you've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself, which will be just 3, because y is a variable this time, x is a constant. So this thing here disappears. Well, you, differentiating the bubble itself will give you 3. So now tidy this up. Um, that will then give you this. Okay. So next one. So find the uh, partial derivative of this function with respect to x and with respect to y. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, imagine this as one block multiplying another block. So visualize it as one block multiplying as one block multiplying another block. So we're doing it with, with respect to x. So this block here contains x, so it's a variable. This block here also contains x, it's also a variable. So we've got to use the product rule. So the product rule is differentiate the first, leave the second alone. So differentiating the first will give you two, leave the second block alone, and then plus, and then differentiate the second and leave the first alone. So, so differentiating the second, well, when you, when you differentiate this, it would be cos uh, two uh, cos x squared y, and then times the derivative of the bubble itself. Times the derivative of the bubble itself. That would be, well, looking at this. Um, x is the variable here, y is a constant. So when you differentiate the bubble itself, the 2 will come down, so that will be 2x, and then you times the constant y. That will then give you this. And then don't forget, the product rule says leave the first alone. So this is us leaving this alone. Think about it. Um, it will then take you to here. And then if you tidy this up, it will then become this. Okay, so now let's do it with respect to y. So differentiating with respect to y. Here you've got two blocks. One, two. This block here doesn't contain the variable y. So really we've got to treat it as a constant. This block here contains the y. So we so this block is a variable. But, um, remember this is a constant. So differentiating it with respect with respect to y. Um, well, your eyes should zoom into this thing here. So differentiating this 
um, differentiating sine the bubble, it would be cos the bubble, and then times the derivative of the bubble itself. Remember, y is the variable. This is a constant. So when you differentiate the bubble itself, it would just simply be x squared. Just simply be x squared. And remember, you this is a constant. So that would then, well, that would then take you to here. If you tidy up, it would then give you this. Okay.